Hi, it's Michael. Today's talk is named Godfrey Goes to Trash and Holy Leaves No Holes. It is about two subjects that kind of overlap and uh, w why does it matter uh, even if you don't subscribe to spirituality or even religiousness uh, you are here on earth to spiritually evolve that's 100% for sure it has been well established by uh, spiritual teachers and uh, even by uh, observing this world with awareness so uh, um, whether it takes uh, you 10 incarnations or million incarnations you are here to spiritually evolve and uh, a truth energizes um, and empowers your spiritual evolvement and guides it so truth matters anyway so one of the uh, synonyms to ho to the word holy is God fearing. Also, many religious people describe themselves as uh, God fearing, and the, this expression God fearing is used as a good positive thing this is a big spiritual error uh, because uh, God and fear don't mix fear is uh, as explained by Dr. David Hawkins an enlightened teacher is an animal based uh, f flight or fight uh, emotion it's a negative emotion and it may be useful for survivalism in the animal kingdom but uh, when it comes to spiritual evolvement it has to be dropped it has to be transcended and uh, God is uh, love divine love now even with pure observation it is obvious that fear is weak shrinking um, and uh, has no power and uh, so if fear would be part of God or a quality of God how could existence come to being it would be impossible right um, now on the other hand uh, we are told by enlightened teachers and by established spiritual texts that uh, divine love is extremely powerful in, in truth uh, uh, its power it's absolute in existence divine love being a quality of God can can that manifest uh, existence yes absolutely it could also be of an interest that uh, the word fear as an acronym stands for false entertainment altering reality and this reveals its, uh, its meaning that fear is based on falsity and uh, if you entertain it if you accept it if you play with it then uh, it alters your reality it uh, it can and it does uh, cut you off uh, from uh, the source of uh, life uh, from divine love from your essence and love as an acronym stands for light of victory 
eternal. Now this can be viewed as uh, pertaining to love's absolute power and divine light and divine love can be in a way used interchangeably. So the point of all of this is that to transcend this spiritual error and uh, to keep on evolving this God fitting has to be dropped, has to be left behind and God loving needs to be embraced. Now you may think that what does it matter this stuff about fear or you may think I know that I, I know that fear is uh, is not the answer or is not positive yet if you use these descriptions like God fearing or whether you use them verbally or just in your head or just have uh, thoughts about you know if I would encounter an angel I'd be afraid or uh, if God would come here oh my goodness he'd give me a hard time or stuff like that stuff like that something along those lines or even if you don't think if you don't uh, think that consciously your subconscious mind can be easily programmed and it probably is all our minds can get very easily programmed with fear uh, subconsciously or and uh, fear can come from the uh, collective unconscious so even though you may not believe it uh, or you may uh, wave it off uh, consciously subconsciously or unconsciously it can play a big part and it can actually control your life so what is the antidote to it how to get out of it so here uh, enlightened teachers like dr david hawkins uh, give some kind of hints is uh, first obviously drop identifying with fear and using it consciously subconsciously and embrace divine love embrace true love and uh, surrender to it open open up to it dr david hawkins says that the mind by itself is not able to transcend its limitations and fear is one of the limitations uh, the transcendence of uh, of these mind limitations is by divine power and uh, divine love uh, so when you surrender to divine love then um, a divine love takes care of uh, the rest eventually depending on how much it is allowed to enter divine love is uh, reported to be infinitely powerful powerful yet exquisitely gentle and uh, if you don't let it in then it won't come in you have to invite it uh, and you, you need to surrender to it and also let's make sure that we understand that what the majority of people call love like uh, i love i love him to bits or love i love her to bits or i love my dog to bits or we fell madly in love and uh, similar expressions that's not love that's uh, emotional attachments and that's ugly um, that is ugly because it's using the other as a prop as a, as a means of getting some satisfaction and uh, uh, it has nothing to do with divine love divine love <clears throat> is not an emotion it is a state of being it is a quality of God and it is your very essence, it is your very home base. 
So being open to your very essence, to your very center, well, da, is the way to go. So again, it's not, uh, it's not God fearing. It is God loving, or God embracing, or some version of of that lovingness stuff. And the second spiritual trap is uh, about holiness. So obviously things that come uh, from divine, termed holy, whether it's uh, divine qualities like love, peace, joy, bliss, uh, good humor, uh, motherhood uh, and all this positive stuff uh, or if it's agents of, of the divine as in uh, angels, spiritual guides and other uh, divine energies and entities uh, they can be termed holy of course and uh, Uh, intelligent people would uh, have the attitude of healthy reverence towards all that, of course. At the same time, it's important not to put these things on a too high a pedestal. What uh, many religions have done is that they have put these divine things on high pedestals and uh, if you do that then it can be very high, very hard to reach it. And uh, because uh, divinity is uh, our true essence it's our true home base, so to speak. If we put it on too high a pedestal, then uh, we can put it out of our reach and then create a duality or create a gap. And uh, obviously that would be to our detriment. So again, it's important um, to embrace all this with health, healthy reverence and at the same time to be cautious not to make an icon of it, not to put it on a high pedestal. So again, to recap the whole talk in just a few sentences, dropping identification with fear, replacing uh, God-fearing with God-loving, and uh, treating or having the attitude of deep gratitude and reverence towards everything holy and divine yet at the same time realizing it's your very essence and not putting it on high pedestal so you can actually reach it so to speak and that way you stay on the right track spiritually uh, that's it for this talk if you have any comments or questions please leave them below the video Michael out.